Hare Krishna friends and I wish you all a happy new year and also I am very sorry that I haven't made a video since very since uh, one year and I'm extra sorry if you're a fan which I don't really think you are <laughs> so uh, today's not those drawing thingies today's uh, speech Sorry, my nose is itching. So today is a, basically a speech. And uh, the title is to like, be kind to the people who are mean to you. See, a few days ago, my mom was like very mad that she has uh, like the work that she does. Like she always gets treated very badly by her boss. So what I basically told her is to do nothing and just give a gentle smile and be kind to her. See, there are pe people say there are three steps to life. First step is that if somebody hits you, then first just give them a gentle warning or ignore. Second time they hit you, uh, give them like an actual warning to not hit you again. And then the third time they hit you, then you hit them back. And if and the fourth time they hit you, you complain to their parents. But that's not actually the thing to do in life. Some people might do it. That's okay. But this strategy is even better. Just be kind to the people who are mean to you. See, I have very mean friends. For example, Raghav, Virat, all those friends. But I've been kind to them. I've done nothing except being kind to them and slow and Raghav is not like Raghav is not kind yet but he's like slowly and slowly and slowly getting kinder so and uh, Virat now he's like literally totally kind it's like I've been helping him for a lot of days and a lot of months so because of this he and it's not because of this, it's like he's not even my friend anymore. It's like he's my servant. And like even when my slippers get lost, he finds them. Uh, when my bottles are lost or uh, stuff like that, he finds them. It's just like. And he it's just like he's a servant. When somebody hits me or all that stuff, he gets very angry and hits them back. For example, when Erg was teasing me because of my haircut and he was teasing me so much that he broke my bottle's cap and then Virat got mad at this because I've been kind for him to a lot for a lot of days and a lot of months. So he was got very angry and he started like actually he actually started chasing her and started hitting him because he broke my bottle's cap and like yeah he's not my friend anymore it's like you can't even say maybe it's just he's your servant only if you be kind I mean, people like the people who bully you i mean so yeah for example the times when virat was mean and there was this guy who poked a stick in virat's eyes and then i got very angry that he did it and i like hit the guy back and told virat if he is okay and started taking care of him so slowly and slowly he started becoming my friend and no he's not my friend he's my servant now so that's why they say, be kind to the people who bully you. Even if it does nothing, keep on going and going and going and going. Who can? See, Krishna is the smartest God, right? Smartest God, strongest God, best God, kindest God, most merciful God. And since he's the most smartest God, he's the one who knows what to do. And he is in everybody's heart. And he says to them, he says to them to be kind. See, I mean, that's not actually what I meant to say. I was saying that Krishna is the smartest God. So, he
he was mostly with Gandhi ji. Gandhi ji was a bhakta of him. That means he also was very smart. Because the dumbest people, when they pray to God, they are the ones who are the smartest ones. So, this basically happened. He was a bhakt of Sri Krishna. And he knew, he, even when the Britishers attacked uh, the Indians and like was, they were killing the Indians. And, but Gandhiji stayed calm and went to those things. They jailed him. They did all sorts of stuff to him, but he didn't give up and uh, like treated them gently. And then the Britishers learned a lesson and they were the ones who got kind to him. That's so, that's the end of the speech. Bye guys.